Maria, uh, could you help us understand? We do believe we have the outlines of the government's white paper now. What is expected today? Yes, so sources are telling us uh, who are privy to what uh, has been, uh, you know, uh, part of the white paper which will be uh, presented and tabled by Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman in the Lok Sabha, likely in an hour or two from now, and uh, will be followed by uh, a discussion on the floor of the House. What sources are telling us is that this white paper will be talking about multiple sectors, be it the sector of MSMEs, the automobile sector. Uh, there is a huge uh, there is a lot of emphasis on how there was a policy paralysis uh, pre-2014 and how things changed drastically post-2014 when the Modi era began. Um, what's ironical certainly is that on a day that uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh, the former Prime Minister, is ending his tenure in the Rajya Sabha for the moment, um, uh, there will be a white paper questioning the manner in which his government functioned. Uh, look, the emphasis of this government is going to be certainly on how Indian economy is resilient, uh, how it has certainly withheld all the shocks that came from international uh, quarters, that came from uncertainty in the global economic front. Uh, so multiple uh, sectors is what we are being told manufacturing and services also being included in it besides that there are aspects of uh, you know the ease of uh, living or be it inclusive growth all those aspects will be uh, there a uh, more of a comparison um, in terms of what happened during the 10 years of upa and how things have been in 10 years of the modi government the industrial growth what the industry has been saying and 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 you you know i think that what is giving this government a lot of confidence is how the monetary funds, how various institutions abroad have been looking at the Modi nomics, how they have been saying that how India is a bright spot amidst right. the global uh, you know, economic doom and they have been specifically talking about the manner in which various policies have been executed, so be it on the manufacturing front, be it on the automobile sector, uh, be it in the markets and overall investments, the FDI and others, there will be a comparison uh, between the UPA and 10 years of NDA. All right. So a comparison of key sectors uh, between the NDA and the UPA era that is expected in the white paper that is going to be presented in the parliament today. Thank you so much, Maria, for getting us all those details there.